All right, so I got a tip for you. It's just so important, and it's it's easy to say, hard to do, but oh, that's a tremendous steelhead. As you can see, the water the water clarity is really dirty right now. He's gonna run a couple of times. He is not ready to be nibbed yet. He might be close, but he just doesn't know where we're at. But you have to shorten up and lighten up. And I got into this little spot this morning and I can just tell that I was fishing too heavy. Um, my sink tip was snagging. I couldn't feel what the fly was doing. And too many anglers think that they have to be fishing really heavy when the water gets dirty. And it's usually just the opposite. You have to fish something light and delicate that will float over all the obstacles you can't see. And I wasn't even throwing the head of the line. 20 foot cast maybe, uh, with two and a half feet of sink tip is all. So very, very, very light tip. So uh, that's my tip. I'll share my setup with you in just a moment. We'll get this fish landed. Yeah. All right, there she is. What a beautiful fish. Woo! You got to love when they take off like that. All right. A fish like that is so rewarding when you're up against conditions that are, I mean, look at this, water. It's just very, very dirty. Um, but as I said when I was fighting the fish, I had to completely change my, my game here. And what I went to is just these mo tips um, are kind of hard for people to comprehend. And what it is, you can see that thick white line there. Instead of having 10 feet of sink tip that would sink very slowly, a mo tip you can get them in different configurations. And I only have two and a half feet of that black sink tip there. It's barely a sink tip at all. But what that allows me to do is see exactly where my fly is hanging. And, uh, and then I'm running about five feet of tippet down to a lightly weighted fly right there. And rather than have say 10 feet or even 15 feet of longer sink tip that might sink slowly, they they. What I want you to follow here is they both might wind up at the same depth, but the mo tip I have more control because I can see exactly where it is and I can mend it and steer it uh, around. Uh, the last thing I want to do is just tell you when it comes to um, casting and line management, make sure the net doesn't float away. When it comes to casting and line management, um, one thing that we need to be absolutely convinced of is that the short cast can catch fish. If I take, um, a lot of anglers will think, well, I'll just throw a long cast and because it swings in, I'm going to have a, the same presentation and it's not true at all. The fish often responds to that fly when that fly lifts and turns and begins to take up a spot right in front of it. And when it comes to casting, I would encourage you um, get comfortable. I wasn't even doing a traditional spay cast there. I'm literally just flipping it out uh, with not even the head length out on a very, very short swing like this right here. If I throw that whole head length, my fly is going to lift and turn and make its presentation in the wrong spot. Get very comfortable just patiently taking and throwing a, almost a traditional roll cast or a switch cast like that and slowly letting that swing come in right below you like that right there. It's very important that you have restraint and discipline and learn to properly fish that fly when it's close into you. And then hopefully you can pick up a fish like that in less than ideal conditions.